Hi team! Thank you so much for watching this video so that we are ready and we are prepared and excited for the upcoming weekend and the curriculum that we'll be doing. This weekend is week three of May and we are continuing the story of creation in Genesis. Our memory verse for this month is God saw everything he had made and it was very good. Genesis chapter one, verse 31. And today we're specifically going over the um, day five, which is creation of the birds and the fish. For our open activity, we always start with something fun. We're gonna be doing a scavenger hunt. So we have this checklist. We're gonna be doing this as a class and we have all of these really awesome cards, um, animal cards sitting here. What I would encourage you guys to do is um, either put them on the wall or put them in different areas of the classroom where the students are going to have to find it. Um, at that point, we're going to um, have a volunteer walk around and every time a, a child uh, picks up a card or finds a card, you're going to mark it off. When everything is done, you can say after the activity, you found everything on our checklist. Great job, friends. We'll hear more about these things in our story today. Let's go. So that kicks off our large group activity, which is just us sitting down um, and watching our uh, curriculum video. Make sure that we are having the kids sit down calmly so that other kids can um, watch the video and hear what is being said. We wanna make sure that we're having some classroom management going on um, during this time. Um, especially when we're doing small group moving forward, um, we wanna make sure that the children are listening, that they're um, playing safely. We do not want, um, we don't want uh, this ball getting thrown around or children running around. We really want them to, to be activated in this lesson guide. So let's make sure that we are making this a priority um, and that we are making it a priority to teach on this. Um, during the think activity, we're going to be doing this craft um, and we're gonna be talking about the pretty scales that a fish has and how God has made everything. We have all these stickers um, in your curriculum bins, and I think that they're at the very bottom, so just make sure that you look for those. Um, you, There's like green, yellow, blue, and red lines. You can instruct the children to place their sticker on those lines. Uh, make sure that you are closing out, sorry, you're closing out the activity. Um, look, your fish is so great. They are so colorful now with their scales. Tell me, who made all the colorful fish in the sea? God did. So you close out that activity and then you move into this move activity. This week, we are gonna be doing something extremely fun. And I'm sure that uh, most of you remember in elementary school, um, we worked a lot with parachutes. This is a parachute. So one of the key things that I remember from using a, a parachute is that the, I had a coach. So the coach would um, heavily, heavily, heavily um, instruct us on the rules. We were not allowed to touch this parachute, even though it was laid out, we were not allowed to touch the parachute until all of the rules were said. We all agreed to the rules. We made sure that we were playing safely um, and appropriately with this parachute. What I do not want um, is for a child to run over this parachute. So like when it's on the floor running over it, I don't want children running underneath it. It can just be very dangerous. So let's just make sure that we are following rules. We're not having children run around it. We're having them activated in the activity instead. We have this ball that we're gonna be placing in the middle of our um, parachute. And you're gonna instruct the kids that when the ball is on the ground, it's to symbolize the fish in the sea. And then all of the children are gonna to work together to pop the ball up. And while the ball is in the air, that's gonna symbolize the, the birds in the sky. And so um, every time they pop it up, they can say birds or, hey, let's look, the, look at the birds in the sky. So. Um, or when it lands, look at the fish in the sea. So um, let's just make sure that we are using this activity appropriately, that we're not going off of the lesson guide, that we're making sure that we're still talking about the birds and the fish, because that's the reason why we're doing this, right? Um, also, when we move past this move activity, um, we're gonna be going over the story of Genesis, of the story of creation. And so um, let's just make sure that we're still having that conversation. We're closing out. That's why it's called the closer. And most importantly, we are praying out. Um, let's make sure that we are closing today's session the right way. And that's through prayer. Um, you can always invite children to pray with you or pray for the class. Um, so 
Uh, if you guys have any questions um, about this this weekend and the curriculum that we're going to be doing, please reach out to me and I'd love to answer those questions. But until then, I hope that you guys continue to have an awesome week and I cannot wait to see you this coming weekend. Bye!